We meet outside an ancient shrine, a place a hundred years away from the city I left only two hours ago. His name is Professor Kurada, and he grew up surrounded by these legends. I first ask him about the kappa. Professor Kuroda says that when he was a child, he was told not to go swimming because the kappa would actually come and takes your spirit. I mean, did you believe that as a child? Yes, he believed it. And he tells me that when he was a child, two of his classmates drowned in a nearby river. He was told then that their deaths had been the work of the sinister kappa. So what does it actually look like, this, this creature? It's about the size of a child. Um, some of the details are a bit hazy, but what people are very sure about is that it's got some kind of plate on its head. Some people say that it has a shell on its back. But the thing that everybody's clear about is that it's got, it's got hands. But they're not hands like we have hands. They are hands with webbed fingers, which I suppose makes sense because it lives in the water creatures that live in the water, very often, you can't see them clearly, you just see a bit. And I suppose over the years, people see one bit, another bit, they put them all together. And what we've got in the case of the kappa is this, this composite water monster. This information, although appalling, takes me no nearer to finding the truth about the identity of the terrifying kappa. I change tack and ask instead about the namazu. So uh, can you tell me what is the, the old belief about the namazu? There is a, a huge one of these creatures living under the ground. Legend goes that there is a catfish that lives under the earth. When it wriggles its massive body, it causes the huge earthquakes that frequently torment Japan. To protect the people, Kashima, a water god, placed a huge stone on the Namazu to prevent it from moving. However, every so often the god loses concentration and relaxes his pressure on the stone, and the catfish wriggles, attempting to free itself, causing more earthquakes. Japan has over 1,000 earthquakes a year. It is a constant threat, putting millions of lives at risk. Are these regular earth tremors really the work of a giant catfish? It's a startling story with one massive stumbling block. There is not a catfish alive that could have such an effect as this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.